Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Viact, and today I'm playing a game called Monster Prom. So, what is Monster Prom then? Well, it's a monster dating simulator with one hell of a twist. Well, and not to mention the fact that uh, the game contains a lot of, uh, well, content of adult nature. In other words, it's my kind of game. And uh, I think that beautiful glitch, which will be the indie developer of Monster Prom, has done a really good job so far. But uh, before I start, nothing that you see in this video is final whatsoever, because it's just like an alpha demo to show what the game is all about, or what they hope to achieve in the final version. Anyways, if you like what you see, then you can download the demo for Windows, Mac or Linux. And if you enjoy the Monster Prom demo, then, well, feel free to show the game some love on Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight. And uh, now it's time to, you know, get down and dirty and all that, so hopefully you will enjoy what you see. So, let's get it on! Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Well, ain't that the truth of the day? But worry no more, we're now using our P PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Well, okay, this sounds promising. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats, okay? This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Okay, let's start. Which god do you pray to each night before sleeping? And I got three choices. Okay. I pray to Zeus. Well, that sounds like me. And there's player two. Uh, every night I write a silly tweet mentioning a different god. Well, okay. Pray is for fools. Alright. And I'm just gonna pick whatever. What's your spirit, M. Joe? You know, that smiley kind of thing. <laughs> what the hell? White guy with a turban because fuck stereotypes. Well, okay, go for that then. <laughs> Snowman because that motherfucker's in the middle of a blizzard and he's fucking smiling. Okay. Moon with a stupid face. Uh, what the hell? If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? A swan. They are kind of classy. Okay, go for that one then. A dolphin, uh, they are the only other animal that fucks just for pleasure, okay, go for that then. A human being, because I'm kind of a douchebag who loves to find loopholes in stupid questions like this, alright. And there we go. And week one. Okay, I got bathrooms, I got class, gym, auditorium, outdoors and library. Okay, I'm gonna start with the bathrooms then. That week you skip a class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority, okay. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. Well, nine inch nails, baby. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Okay, you gave plus zero shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Alrighty then. Uh, you're chilling in the bathroom with Damon and Miranda. Thank the gods for co-ed bathrooms. Everything's going great, uh, and you are obviously very cool until you hear some noises. Oh snap, it's Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor. Damn, we're done. If you get caught skipping class again, we're gonna... They're gonna feed me to the school's dragon, or even worse. They'll make me come in on a Saturday, and I sure as hell wouldn't want to go to school on a Saturday. Ah! This is bad, and I, I didn't bring my champion. Who will fight to the death to defend my honor? What can we do? It seems that they are both waiting for you to do something. But how do you scare a werebear? No time to think. Uh, you must... You bust out of the stall and... Make myself as big as possible? Uh, you puff out your cheeks, <laughs> stuff a bunch of toilet paper in your shirt and wave your arms in the air. Like you just don't care. Uh, okay, uh... Yup, that's the plan we went with. Crazy Martin is not amused, you spend the next hour restocking toilet paper while your friends head <laughs> to detention. Alright, it worked the first time, it didn't work this time, so everything's uh, randomly generated. Smooth move, toilet tard. Okay, still got to keep all the free toilet paper with a silly lining. You lose plus one is smart, minus, minus one boldness. Okay, that went to hell. 
That week you learned valuable lessons and listened to your elders. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is basically the core activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. Okay. Later you see that Paul is even more excited than usual uh, and you decide to see what's happening. You know I've been doing a lot of soul searching recently. Get it? And I think I finally figured it out. Who I really am, I mean. My spirit MG. M.U. M.G. Ah, fuck it. I think a lot of people would say I'm like the Twinkie Ghost M.G. Or the Flag of Ecuador M.U. But those are just who I am on the outside, you know. My real spirit M.G. is a pink card with a blue arrow through it. It's like I'm sweet, right? But I also got the dark side. Plus an arrow through the heart is how I was killed. Okay, she has died. What about you? What's your spirit M.G.? Well, I'm gonna... Pick the charming one then. Okay, that went to hell. Okay, this is my fucking hell. This is not my day. Creep much. Nobody uses a full selection menu, okay? My spirit M is my most recently used list next to bottle of booze and barber pole. And don't you dare ask me why I use barber pole so much. That's not for creatures like you to know. Okay, this went to hell. <laughs> this is going to hell. Uh, that week an epic dodgeball match took place, okay? Everything seemed lost, but suddenly you gave an inspirational speech to your team that fueled everybody's spirit. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You clearly are a natural born leader. You gained plus two charm, okay? Scott and Miranda seem to be arguing about something. Uh, your sweet meditator skills are clearly needed. No, I know our football team is called the Monster High Monsters, but what's our mascot? Our mascot? Oh dang, you're right, we don't have one. Oh, what about Misha the Mermaid? Mermaids are monsters. No way, too girly. Uh, try this, uh, Wally the Werewolf. Why is it got to be a werewolf? We're the monsters, not the werewolves. Yeah, well, we're not the mermaids either. Hmm, <clears throat> maybe the problem is that the team name is trying to cover a huge diverse group of people with a single label. No, coach is never wrong, we're just not thinking hard enough. Think, think, think. Hey you, you look like a hard thinker. What mascot should we get for our team? Uh, okay, think I'm gonna go for this one then. Easy, we'll just genetically engineer a cross between every kind of monster at the high school or at the school. Head of a werewolf, tail of a mermaid, hair of a medusa, angst of a vampire, we call it Abe the Abomination. Find an idea that represents the true diversity of our school. We can use my daddy's gen lab. Let's see, in order to fit all the monster parts in, the mascot will have to be about 100 feet tall. Covered in nightmares, append- what the fuck? Appendages and moist tentacles, okay? Which means it shall provide great shade on the hot game days. The tentacles can hold umbrellas, okay? Yeah, because deadly genetic experiments are always the shortcut to, to a girl's heart, okay? Okay, the auditorium it is then. That week while rehearsing for the class play, it seemed that Mosses themselves decided to give you a massive blowjob, okay? Nice class. Your performance was intense and inspiring. It will be remembered through your entire generations, which is pretty rad for high school play standards. Okay, <laughs> plus two creativity. Uh, okay, after rehearsal you spot Liam and Paul they're talking about the part or something. Parties are cool, so you decide to join them. Uh, look, if you don't want to listen to me, that's fine, but inviting everybody to the party on Facebook is going to make it seem unbelievably lame. But if I don't make a Facebook invite, nobody will know where to go or what time to get there. We <laughs> will get like six guests, but they will be cool guests. <laughs> a good party is all about exclusivity. No way, a good party is about getting hammered with a bunch of people who don't remember what you did in the morning. Let's just agree to disagree on that. Or we can ask our friend here to resolve this for us. You. What do you think is the best way to invite people to our party? Okay, I got two choices. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one. Obviously the answer is to take a topless selfie, then use Photoshop to cover your nipples with the party info. Print the shit out, plaster it all over school. I guarantee people will come in more ways than one. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Yes, amazing! I was thinking of doing something similar for the FB page, but uh, they don't allow nudity. Well, doesn't that suck? 
But printing out pages, uh, sorry, flyers, it's so retro. I love it. Selfie stick, where's my selfie stick? Ah, oh, goddamn kids of today. You saved the day and got Polly to go topless. You're the true hero of our time. <laughs> You gave plus two boldness. Ah, okay, that was actually the very end of the Monster Prone demo, so... I hope you guys enjoy, well, what you saw and everything, and hopefully you will enjoy the demo yourselves. But I actually forgot to mention one thing, because uh, you can actually play between one to four players at the same time. Well, that makes sense, since the game is a competitive and cooperative kind of game. And, uh, well, that would be it, so... You know the drill by now, feel free to like the video, subscribe and of course comment on the video. And uh, if you like the demo yourself, then don't forget to support uh, Monster Prom on Kickstarter and Steam Greenlight. And with that said, have a nice day and take care. This is VX signing out. Bye bye. Well thank you very much for watching our video ladies and gentlemen, tons of love to you. Now don't you forget to click that nice subscribe button down here so that you don't miss out on any of our new videos. And if you want to show us the support for our videos, then show us some love on Patreon. So with that said, have a nice day and take care people, adios.